Welcome to Racera Aesthetics. I'm Rory, the owner and resident hair removal specialist. And how can I help you today, miss? My name is Micolette, but you may call me Mickey. Pleased to meet you, Mickey. I've heard good things about you, particularly that you will be participating in the 2019 Skin Games in the Hair Removal Competition. I've been thinking about getting waxed myself. That's correct, Mickey. I'll be using Relax and Wax brand in the competition, which I always recommend here at Racera. They have high quality products, which provide everything you need to give your client a clean, effective, and fabulous service. Oh, really? This is my first time. Can you tell me more about the products we would be using? Gladly. So we always start with Clean Sweep, which is an antibacterial, soap-free skin cleanser. Then I'll prep with some tea tree oil to ensure that the wax adheres only to hair and not to skin. After prep, we get started by applying either hard or soft wax, depending on the area being treated, to effectively remove the unwanted hair. How do you decide if we use hard or soft wax? That's a great question. It will mostly depend on what area we're working. The hard wax is amazing at removing even the most stubborn hairs in sensitive areas without cloth or paper strips. And I love that it's all natural, consisting of only a handful of ingredients. I'll typically use hard wax on the face, the underarms, and a majority of the sections when I do a Brazilian bikini wax. Sometimes I'll use a creamy soft wax when I feel that it's appropriate during a Brazilian. My absolute favorite soft wax of all time is the Relax and Wax Pearl Rose. It's great for covering large areas like legs or backs and leaves no sticky residue. After removing every last hair, I'll again cleanse the area with Clean Sweep to remove any remaining residue. Then we'll finish up with No Trauma Mama, a soothing calendula and tea tree based gel to help calm and heal the skin. I recommend get the bump out of here to clients that suffer from irritation, bumps, and ingrown hairs after waxing or other forms of hair removal. So Mickey, what type of wax service are you interested in? Underarms? I mean leg pits? Or full legs? Um, I would have to charge extra because you know you got four, right? A Brazilian! On the modern beach. And I really think my partner would love it too. Want to see a picture? He's super cute. Uh, sure. Aw, look, he is cute. Look at that face, that puppy. Aren't you cute? Aren't you a kitty patootie? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Excuse me. That's enough. Back to me. Tell me more about the Brazilian wax. What exactly are we removing? Sure, Mickey. A Brazilian is a special type of bikini wax where we remove all the hair under the panty line and between the cheeks. Some people choose to leave a little hair up top on the pubic mound, but most opt to remove it all. Oh, really? Cheeks, huh? I don't have any butt cheeks, and I don't even know what a panty is. I think I ate one once and pooped it out. True story. But it sounds painful. You know, everyone's a little different when it comes to pain tolerance, but the more regularly you come for wax treatments, the easier it gets. By removing hair from the root, we create trauma to the follicle, and this damage, over time, will cause the hairs to grow back finer, weaker, and thinner, and sometimes not grow back at all. Once a month is about average for Brazilian waxing, and this is why we rebook at the end of every service to keep you on track. That makes a lot of sense. The pain makes me a little nervous. Which wax would we use for my Brazilian? Is there one that would be a little more comfortable than the other? I'll usually use all hard wax or a combination of soft and hard wax for the extra sensitive areas to make the service as comfortable as possible. I'll apply the wax in thin strips and in the same direction as the hair growth, then remove against the grain. I find this to be the most effective method for managing pain. A little pressure on the area immediately after removing the strip confuses the nerve endings and is another great trick for relieving the sting. If pain really is a deterrent, you can apply no scream cream about 45 minutes before the service. This is a 20% benzocaine formulation from Relax and Wax creator Deborah Mehar 
that is specifically intended to take the ouch out of waxing. Well, it sure sounds like you know your stuff. Can I see your wax setup? Is it clean? Oh, of course. Cleanliness is of utmost importance to any good esthetician, and especially us here at Raysera. All non-porous surfaces are sprayed down with hospital-grade disinfectant before and after every treatment. We wear gloves for every service. We only dip once and discard a stick after it touches the client so we never contaminate the wax pots. We keep the pots pristine and free of wax buildup because that's just important to us and important that you see that we take hygiene seriously. We provide a towel for you to cover up during your service, but rest assured this goes in the wash with bleach after every client tip. Okay, I'm in. So, what's next? Where do I sign up? Well, Mickey, I'm glad we had this verbal consultation. But now, I just need you to fill out a proper release form so we can get your basic information. We'll collect a brief medical history and check if you're currently on any medications I should know about, like antibiotics. We'll also check for contraindications, like a recent sunburn, or any topical products you might be using, like retinoids, which could thin the skin. And if any other questions come up for you while going through the form, I'll hopefully be able to answer those too. How long will it take? Most of the time, it takes 30 minutes or less to complete a Brazilian wax service. My priority, though, is not to rush through the service, but to get you through it as quickly and efficiently as possible. Okay, that all sounds wonderful. And what about afterwards when I go home? Is there anything else I need to do? That's actually such a great question that many clients don't think to even ask, or even realize is uber important to know, Mickey. To get the absolute best wax every time you come to see me, there are a few things you can do between services. First 48 hours after, I don't recommend hot tubs or heavy exercise, tight clothing, or intimate relations. Also, two days after your wax, you can begin exfoliating the area two to three times per week to prevent dead skin buildup and make sure that hairs are not getting trapped under the skin when they start to grow back in, which could result in bumps and irritation. Scrub Me Luscious is a wonderful lemon-scented all natural bamboo exfoliant that is perfect for this and not too harsh for sensitive bits. Get the bump out of here is a serum that comes in a convenient roller that you can apply to the waxed areas to help prevent and treat irritation, bumps, and ingrown hairs. Can I see how the wax works? Sure, check this out. But do you mind if I just feel the wax? Here? On my paw right here? I just want to see it a little closer. And see how it smells. And, and how it tastes. Oh no ma'am, I really don't recommend eating the wax. Even though it is all natural and it probably won't hurt you. In, I'm sure it's not very tasty. Oh that's nice. That's really nice. I'm ready. Let's get started. But, I think we'll just do legs today. Okay, Mickey, you got it. Pearl Rose it is. So now that Mickey's booked her follow-up appointment and has left another satisfied Ray Sarah Aesthetics client, I want to tell each and every one of you that I cannot wait to see you in Vegas this June for the 2019 Skin Games Hair Removal Competition. Game on!